Hi Aries, welcome back again to your channel. It is always a blessing to have you guys back here. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back to the channel. Um, just know that your diamond is know that your precious shine bright light to the, like a diamond. Okay, you guys, this is say your girl has been under the weather, okay? Um, but I feel a lot better today. Thank you so 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 much to everyone that gave me their recommendation to feel better i appreciate all of you i did try some of them i didn't try all but i did try some and i feel a lot better today so thank you guys so 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 much i love you guys you guys are so adorable all right so this is going to be an airy read this is going to be the next 48 this is going to be your quick one you guys i'm going to do a lot of quick reads i'm not going to um do long ones today because I don't want to put too much pressure pressure on my throat. That's where the situation is, you guys. Okay? On my throat. So, yeah. All right, so let's get into a prayer, okay? Heavenly Father, as I come before, ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send me most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages. That you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray, amen. All right, so let's get into your 48. Take what's yours and leave the rest. Just know that the roles could be reversed, you guys. Um, personal reading is available <clears throat> on the channel. So if you are interested in having a personal reading done with me, you could always connect with me using the information that I have provided for you guys. And that will be down in the description of today's video, okay? I'm going to drink water right through you guys, so I hope you guys don't mind. But I really want to stay hydrated, you know what I mean? All right. All right, what's the next 48, please? What is the next 48 at this time for Aries? What's the next 48? Okay, I'm using my deck, you guys. It's called the Awakening 1111. If you guys are interested in purchasing this deck, you can always connect with this deck using the information I've also provided for you, and that will also be down in the description of the video, right? All right, so I am seeing a second chance that is coming in, all right? So some of, some of you guys are either in separation or, you know, you're either feeling like, you know, even though you're in separation, you really want to still be with this person or just know that this could be them. I am seeing a six of cups, so I do feel like, you know, for some of you, you're either feeling like the, the roles may be the same, this person may be open to come back. And you may be also um, open to return. I'm not going to lose you. Your sex is the best. So this person really feels a very strong, solid connection with you. Um, not only am I seeing a, a connection here, but I feel like, you know, you've definitely been through the storm with your situation. I feel like you might have been hurt. Something might have been done or said or did or whatever is going on. And why you guys are maybe not getting along right now for whatever reason you're, you guys are not getting along but i'm also seeing energy here energy cleansing um i forgave you for ghosting me so this person yeah somebody left um somebody definitely left um walked away oh man cleansing for some of you guys it's either time for healing or something some of you guys, you're already trying to heal. And maybe for some of you, this is why this second shine is kind of one that you may not. Or maybe you may be rethinking this second chance. Reconciliation. Not really feeling sure. Even though you want to be with this person. But you might have watched this person kind of walk away out of your life. For some of you are still going through some kind of a spiritual healing here. One spiritual healing or cleansing or something that's happening here. But cleansing is needed for, for the healing to take place. 
All right. Let's clarify these up. All right, angels, what's the next 48, please? What is the next 48 at this time? What's the next 48 for Aries, please? What's the next 48? What's the next 48? All right, so we have the sun in the reverse. We also have the Ten of Pentacles energy also in the reverse. And then we have the Page of Swords. So this person comes with a lot of drama, you guys. Okay? Um, the Page of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. You either feel like right now you're not manifesting anything right here. Um, you feel like all hope might, may have been lost here. Um, whatever you've been given given to the situation you feel like it wasn't given back someone may be dealing with some kind of an ego here or just being um stubborn or not making a decision as far as what is needed to have the relationship feels like something that you could be comfortable with investing and be being comfortable or being comforted um i feel like you guys might have suffered a major con at one point with your connection with this person but something is in the reverse so someone is still not ready to move forward someone is still not ready to let everything go that is doesn't suit you doesn't sit with you um for some of you this is just a feeling of okay so where do i go from here even though you have a solid connection with this person um i do feel like and this person might they just might have a connection with you but whatever is needed so that you don't feel like you're going through some kind of a storm or something, this person is not ready to let that go or set that free. And I feel like that really hurts you, Aries. What's the next 48 here? What's the next 48? Hmm, stress. Your spell work failed. Wow. Next 48. That's your next 48. Somebody's dealing with a massive amount of stress here. You either feel like something is connected to spell work. If this is not the person who you're with, that you may feel that might have done some kind of a spell work, there is somebody who's definitely connected to them. There you go. Your friends plotted to cause confusion between us. Right there. Boom. Okay. If this is not them that did the spell work, somebody just does not want to see you with this person. They don't want to see you in a relationship with this person. They don't want this person to be in a relationship with you. They don't want you and this person to get along. They want you guys to argue and fuss and deal with confusion and think that doesn't resonate either you or them. Don't want to trust a word you say. They don't want them to trust a word you say. It's time for you to expect the unexpected truth. Right there. Something is coming to light. Something that you might have thought that you knew. Or maybe you was trying to get some kind of a clarity as to how your intuition was flowing. I'm hearing the higher ups are giving you some kind of a divine light or shadowed to see where you need to go. Making your decision and making it set in stone. What is this, please? Judgment. Judgment, the king of swords and the ace of pentacles. In order for you to obtain something new, this person's emperor, the emperor right now energy is low, very low, low vibration. They don't know what they want right now. This is why for your next 48 is having me feel like it's not time to give this person the second chance. Not yet. Okay. Because what it is that needs to be set free has not been set free yet. It's not clear. Um, even though you want to have this new but this new is coming as this person is not ready to change yet. 
Uh, their energy is low. It's too entwined with whatever is causing this relationship to fall short. The King of Swords of Judgment. The Judgment in the reverse. So something is either going to be over or it has to be over in order for you to regain something here. Okay? Because if you walk back into a situation that is either feeling unsure or unclear or whatever is going on, then you're going to have a major con here, okay? We're just going to have judgment and everything going all the way left this time. When I say all the way left, I mean absolutely all the way left, all right? All right, so this is going to be your next 48. We're going to jump right into your next 24. So with that said, my darlings, I will see you in the next one. If you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one, all right? Simply by leaving your initials down below. Pray for me as I'm also praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you're always fine. Bye, guys. Hi, Aries. Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your next 24. All right, so I did your 48. This is going to be a quick 24. Just know that this 24 is not a general. It's not a personal. Ugh. It's not a personal, it's a general. So with that being said, it may resonate and then again it may not. Please take what does resonate with you and leave the rest. The roles could be reversed, you guys. Cross watchers are also welcome to be a part of this next 24. Read. Um, if you guys are interested in having a personal reading with me, you could always connect with me using the information that I provided for you, and that will be in the description of the video. All right, angels, let's get to work, please. Next 24 for Aries. What's the next 24? So your next 24 is giving me a distance, a distance and broken, okay? So I feel like for some of you guys, I feel like you're either ready to walk away from a situation or this could be who you're connected with that has already walked away from a connection with you, okay? Um, I feel like someone, you wasn't sure who this person was anymore because this person's energy was kind of dark, okay? This feels like a mask, but it was feeling like a very dark, shadowed mask. This is what the distance feels. The next 24 hours also gave me, you're broken, you're broken, silence. You're not communicating with this person anymore. You're not seeing eye to eye. You're just not resonating. They may feel the same way that you're feeling here. Someone either felt raped on a mental level with this entire situation. But this person really comes with drama. This person comes with drama and third party problems. So you're dealing with a third party situation here. Um, your next 24 hours is having me feel like because of this third party situation, somebody here is not able to kind of um, get a vibe. Okay, somebody ain't getting a vibe here. Somebody is, the vibe that I'm seeing is a very low vibration vibes. Okay. Somebody's either being stubborn, stuck, or something. Walking in 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 la la land here. Okay, what's going on? What's the next uh twenty four? Next twenty four for Aries, please. This time, clarify this, please, angels. What is it that I need to share at this present moment? I gave you good advice. In return, you hated me. My gosh, look at that. I told you. Somebody is just not resonating right now. 
I gave you good advice and in return you hated me. Maybe this person was a person who you felt like you could have talked to about anything and everything. Now you guys are like in silence. It's like you're a day and they're night or they have one foot in the water and one on the land or whatever is going on here. I forgave you a lot of times. I forgave you a long time ago. Even with the bad decisions you made. Even with the bad decisions that this person made, you still found a way to forgive them. I won't come back to you. Your pride takes control. Some of you already made a decision that you're not going back there. I'm guarded now that I know you're sick in the head. My goodness. Next 24, please. You asked me for a threesome, and I did. I feel like even with a threesome, I feel like this person would still want more and more and more. Why do I feel like this person would not be satisfied? What is the next 24? What is it that I need to clarify here? Please clarify this, please. Please clarify these messages, please, for Aries and the next 24 hours. What's the next 24? The next 24 is the Magician. The Magician is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is the, the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So you guys are dealing with a whole lot of conflicts here. Okay? Um, situation that feels like it's just not getting any better. It's like the more you try to fix the situation, is the more something comes up. Something that is unexpected. Something that you don't want to be a part of. Something that feels like it's spiraling out of control. No matter how you try to fix things. No matter how you try. You you know, with the magician being here. You're trying to manifest peace. You're trying to manifest, manifest tranquility. You're trying to be the smart one. You're trying to be the bigger person. And yet in the return, you get a lot of anxiety because of these conflicts that you're dealing with and the more you're trying to straighten these conflicts out is the more you're feeling like you're not either being appreciated or whatever the hell's happening here with this five of wands you're not benefiting anything it's like you're fighting and you're fighting and you're dealing with more toxicity but you're putting an end to this devil here because it doesn't serve you any good this person is holding on to the way that they're feeling or they're holding on to you. How they so please or choose. But the energy right now is in the reverse. The king of wands. They're in the reverse because they're yet to make a decision. Because they're not very smart at this point. They're not very smart. They hold on to the way that they feel. They hold on to things that suits them and not others. But you're moving away. Because you might have suffered a major arcana here already. With the with the with the uh, with the world in the reverse and also with the fool in the reverse. Yeah. And that equals the ten of swords. Where it's something has to be over, something has to end because there's just too much going on at this point. Too much heartache, too much disappointment. You feel like you're giving in, you're giving in, you're giving in. You feel like you're stabbing in the back. Someone is going to have to remove those swords from your back. Something has to be taken away here. The next 24 hours, you guys, is telling me that the swords that was placed in your back has to be removed. And believe me or not, let me tell you something. You may have to be the ones that's going to take out your own swords. Because the more you try... To ask anyone for help is the more you dealing with more conflicts back to back to back, okay? 
all right so this is going to be your next 24 um, I hope that it did resonate with you. Please do not hesitate to like, to share, to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. <coughs> mm. um, if you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. Um, simply by leaving your initials down below. Pray for me as I'm also praying for you guys. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you're always fine. Bye guys. Hi Aries, welcome back to your channel. We're going to jump right into your no contact, okay? So, these are going to be quick reads, um, you guys. I did your 48, I did your 24. We're going to do a no contact. After this one, I'm going to do a single one. And what else? Let's see. I think I'll probably do a bonus for you guys, all right? Maybe like a career or something. Um, and this it'd be an overall type of a read, right? Whatever comes through, that one comes through. But this one is going to be a no contact one, right? Let's get into a prayer. Just know that your diamond shine bright like a diamond. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge. Over this reading, using my body is the best of giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so Aries, just know that this reading is a general and not a personal. Um, with that being said, it may resonate and then again, it may not. All right, let me go ahead and pull some messages back for your no contact. What is a no contact here, please? For Aries at this time. What is the message here for Aries at this time? Amen. Okay, Aries. Ooh. Alright, so your no contact is giving me healing and separation and mystery. Wow. Okay. Um, there's a couple of things that I really wanted to point out here. Okay. Alright, so I'm getting healing. So I'm feeling right here that you know your life is calling for healing at this point. Um, not only do I feel like your life is calling for healing, your no contact situation is 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 coming in as cleansing cleansing and separation you guys are in separation okay um the thing with this separation all right somebody might have put up with a lot of things that you either wasn't feeling happy about or whatever is going on why you felt like you know you had to make a final decision of walking away from something that you either feel like wasn't fulfilling anymore but to say the least, it was something that was very destructive. Destructive in the sense of, I tried to forget you. You tried to forget this person. Or just know that if this wasn't you that tried to forget this person, it was them who tried to forget you. But at the end of the day, some of it is in critical pain. I'm in pain. Or for some of you just trying to be pain-free pain from this healing process, okay? But still think about this person. Even though you guys are in separation, someone is still thinking about their person. Even though it was heartbreaking and it still is, you're still trying to find a way to heal, you're still trying to find a way to move forward. But there's a lot of heartbreak here, okay? But this because there was a lot of love here. Now... For some of you, though, I'm really feeling like, okay, you're either still attached to this person. So this tells me that if you're not married to this person, you were definitely in something that was very con um, centered with this person. Meaning, you was in something that was more committed. You was in a committed situation with this person, or so you felt, Right? Because I'm hearing a marriage or something that feel or felt like a marriage. But this situation, this connection did have you feeling like you were dealing with someone that was a mystery. It's like you couldn't figure this person out. There was something under the sheets where you just knew that something wasn't adding up. 
something was a feeling right you just couldn't put your fingers on it something was hidden why do you still hold on to me though okay now if this is not you that is wondering if why this person is still holding on to you then this is this is definitely you okay just take it how it suits you okay just pick a side but someone is wondering why is the situation still feeling like it's been held on to even though there's a separation here even though your no contact is telling me that there's a there's definitely a no contact in place okay but someone is still dealing with something that feels like a mystery wow all right let's pull some cards here Alright, what's the message here, please? I know you'll never come back, but I'll still wait. I know you'll never come back, but I will still wait. I will still wait. I will wait for you. Oh my goodness. You're mad at me because your magic don't work. Why do I feel like somebody is feeling or thinking that somebody's doing some kind of a spell work here? Well, it could be because somebody energy is a mystery. And if somebody is a mystery, they don't tell me what the hell they got going on in the darkness. Okay. I struggle with you when no one else did. So someone was there for their person when no one else did. And now this person has turned their back. That's a lot of pain to deal with right there. What is the no contact here, please? I promise to love you. It's not over yet. So this person is saying, listen, we may be in separation and I didn't make a promise to love you. I'm going to come back, but you might have to wait a little longer for that return. All right. What's, what's next? What the hell is next? Where was the love when I needed a shoulder to cry on? So you're feeling like this person wasn't even there when you needed them the most. Whatever the hell that you were going through, you felt like... The tears were in vain because this person wasn't even there to wipe a tear. You spit in the sky, fell in your face, thanks to karma. Oh, 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 oh my damn did a damn. I damned if I do and I damned if I don't. Okay. Oh, Aries. Let's clarify these messages up, okay? I think we need to do that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and clarify these messages, please. Angel, universe, ancestors, spirit guides, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. What is the message, please? Please clarify these cards, please. For Aries and their no contact person. All right. The Ten of Wands in the upright. The Three of Wands in the reverse. The Four of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. The Five of Pentacles in the upright. And we also have the Knight of, the Knight of Swords. Now, you guys are definitely walking with a lot of burden here. Okay? A whole lot of burden. To say the damn least, all right? Feeling very overwhelmed, very destroyed. It's 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 like at this point, it's either you give or it's either you take. <laughs> Choose a side, all right? But somebody has to decide what they really want here, because if this is not you that has been conflicted by a decision that needs to be made and has not been made because of some kind of a fear. A fear of transitioning or moving away or whatever the hell is going on here. But something has to be given or done here because where you at right now in your life, 
it's not where you need to be because it's a lot of damn load. Okay? For some of you guys, you constantly know that the signs are there. Your intuition is telling you something is either on or damn off. You already know. A decision has not been made final because some of it is still waiting. Still sitting there waiting. Still, listen, it's time to make a move here. You've rested, you've thought about it, you've prayed about it, you've whined about it, you complained about it, you maybe got a reading here or there, two or three. It, now you got to do something about it. The, 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 the night, the nine of pentacles in the reverse, you have to do something about it because whatever you're manifesting here or whatever you're trying to shake the table with, it's not been shaken the way that it needs to be shaken. At the end of the day, the only thing that is shaken is poverty. You feeling like everything around you has been taken away or taken down because someone is still resistant and someone is just dealing with drama back to back to back to back over and over and back around again and over and around again in whatever direction. Somebody is dizzy as hell. Dizzy. Now you're going to make a decision here. Okay, I would never say um, at this point you're going to make some kind of a choice. Your no contact is a no contact to the point where it kind of feels very disrespectful. Somebody is disrespecting another person here. Okay. Now it's time that you take your power back because you have no other choice but to take your power back. For some of you, once you take your power back, who knows? This person will change your mindset. Because now they see that now you're not going to put up with their bullshit. Okay? If that's just on period. No more bullshit. Not, none, none of that stuff. Okay? Take back your power because you are the power. <laughs> you are the chosen one. You are the power. You are the glory. Once you take back your peace that you might have given away... This person will see you on another different level. Or you know what? God is just going to remove that, that us obstacle out of your way and bring somebody else in your life to honor and to cherish you, okay? That's on period. Just saying. All right, so this is going to be your no contact. Um, I'm going to rest my voice a little bit. And then I come back and do your singles. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to do another one after this one. Maybe like a career, love, whatever comes through that one. But I'm gonna make it also a career read, all right? Um, but we're definitely gonna do a singles after this one. So thumbs up the reads for me. Um, on your way out. If you do need to have a prayer request, please let me know that you need one. Simply by leaving your initials down below. Pray for me as I'm also praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you're always fine. Bye, guys. Hi, Aries. Welcome back to your channel. It is always a blessing to have you guys back here. Now, if you're a new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. All right, you guys. So I did your 48, your 24, your no contact, and this is your single stream. I don't know if it's going to be coming towards you in the order of how I did them but it's gonna be coming today but we're gonna get into um your singles read just know that you're a diamond <clears throat> hold on you guys just know that you're a diamond please continue to shine bright like a diamond okay let's get into a break Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask you a blessing for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge of this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all on and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so Aries, for this single to read, it's definitely not a personal one. It's a general one, so... Because it's a general reading, it could resonate with you and then again it may not. Whatever did not resonate, you guys just go ahead and send it back to the universe where it came from. Please do not leave it in the comment section because I don't want to hear about it and I'm sure no one else does. Alright, cross watchers, I'm more than welcome to be a part of this read. Okay. 
Now, if you do need to have a personal reading with me, you can always connect with me using the information that I provided for you guys, and that will be down in the description of today's update in the EO, all right? All right, let's see. For my singles, what, what does Angel wants you to know right now, my singles? What is it that the angels want you to know right now, like immediately? What is it that I need to share with Aries singles? Aries singles, please. What's the message? A balance. Okay. So, angels are saying, okay, that right now, there's two things that is really critical for you to know, my singles. You're going to have to find a balance right now in your life. Now, the balance that you need to find is one that's going to bring you everything that you have been praying for, hoping for, yearning for, manifesting for, just to bring you final happiness once and for all. Angels are saying that, there needs to be a healthy balance though. Now, just know that it has to be a healthy balance. So you're not going to take toxicity or anything that might have caused you pain or suffering from your past situation to find this balance that you're looking for. And healthy balance of physical, emotional, and spiritual intimacy for a relationship to be sustainable, okay? So, you definitely had your fair share of betrayals. You definitely had your fair share, my singles, of lies. You definitely had your fair share of people just not communicating with you the way that you had communicated with them. However, you had might have given to this relationship. It doesn't matter if it's your person. It doesn't matter if it's a family. It doesn't matter if it's friendships. It doesn't matter if it's your job situation. But you're going to have to find physical, emotional, spiritual, and intimacy kind of a balance with moving forward into anything. Now, because this balance is needed, right? And this need is it's a critical form of healing to move forward. The first thing you have to do is let go. Letting go of every damn thing that you felt might have done you wrong. Because at the end of the day, if someone leaves you confused, more than comforted, you need to reassess their access to you. And to make it even clearer, if somebody shows you their true self, believe them the first damn time. Okay? Let that go let it go letting go period you don't have to stick around to see if that person said what they said and meant what they said or whatever let's take it as a stepping stone and move forward because people really show who they really truly are without even questioning their uh, capability or however they feel about you. It will come out. It will come to the surface. Recognition. But for some of you, I'm hearing reconciliation though. Someone from your past will be returning to your life soon. So you have a past situation that you might have thought that it was over. That situation is coming back or want to come back. But something is difficult here. For that person to come back or for that situation, or whatever the hell the situation is, something has to be given close attention, okay? Be optimistic. Keep in mind that you create your reality, though. You can't attract love with a negative mindset. 
And it doesn't matter where this negativity is coming from. You cannot attract nothing with negativity. Whether you are bringing negativity to the situation or whether they are. Because you will be facing difficulties. Period. Hmm. pull two more cards here because I'm drawn to pull two more cards here. Singles, please. Okay, there you go. Boundaries and be honest. So, see what I'm saying all this time? Oh, my goodness, clarity. Thank you for this clarification, angels. You have to set boundaries. Singles, you have to set boundaries. And again, it does not matter where their statuses are. Whether it's a past person, whether it's a future one, whether it's one that's coming, whether it's a family member, whether it's your children, whether it's your friendships, whether it's your job ships, whether it's whatever that ends with a ship, okay? You're going to have to set boundaries. You need to teach people how to treat you by being clear on what you will or won't allow, period. Just be honest. A heart to our conversations are necessary. It is safe for you to talk about your feelings. Don't hold a damn thing in. They could either accept you or they kick rocks. Because you ain't going to lose no damn sleep. Okay? They could kick rocks all they want. On um, period. Ain't nobody care at this point. Okay? Please clarify these messages. The Ten of Cups. Hmm. The Ten of Cups, honey. I told you, didn't Something is over here. Major Arcana with a debt here. Something very toxic, something very unhealthy. You know, people dealing with karmic cycles and bad energy. Mm, Friday the damn 13th, okay? Major Arcana. Stop it in your blessing. Trying to stop your, your 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 movement here Sh side shadow feeling of loneliness here nope mm -mm. people dealing with addictions or whatever it is that's going on with them for some of you looking for some kind of a clarity clarity that you seek is right there the devil in the reverse and the hermit mm. Ten of Wands, a Page of Cups, the Six of Swords. So something is about to be final. See, whenever you make this decision, okay, because something is changing. This is what you need to know. There's a shift in your life right now where something is changing. It's changing because you're investing into a situation. You're manifesting this. The Six of Pentacles, the Magician, and the, the, the Eight of Wands. So whatever you're manifesting is going to happen and it's happening for you, okay? Not everyone is going to be happy and rejoice with you. Their, their intention is to see you walking around burdened. Or this is them. But you're walking away and you're making something solid finally. Once and for all. Somebody's stuck. Whatever you're attached to, they're never changed because it's their world and they live in it. 
But with the high priestess energy, the high priestess of Ten of Pentacles here and the Ace of Pentacles, you're rebuilding your life and you're getting ready for something new and amazing. Okay? Why somebody's still sitting on the top of the deck wasting time? Precious time, that is. Okay? All right. This is going to be your singles read, my singles. Um, if it did resonate with you, please um, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, also, my darlings, pray for me as I'm praying for you. If you do need to have a prayer request, you can always leave your initials down below. Um, if, you, if that's what you need. I'll see you in my next one. Y'all, I'm going to go ahead and drink some more water for this damn probe, okay? Um, before you guys can't hear me. <laughs> so, I love you guys so, so, so much. Um, pray for me again as I'm praying for you. And with that said, always remember to see first you always smile. I'm going to do another bonus for you guys. But I'm going to um, take a little break and then come back and do a bonus. It's going to maybe be a career read or whatever comes through, comes through. But we're going to do that, okay? Love you guys. Later. This is going to be your career read, okay? You guys requested this one, so please do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up, okay? <clears throat> oh, anyway, you guys. Know you're a diamond person, foremost shine bright like a diamond. For this read, just know that it's a general and not a personal one. With that being said, it may resonate, and then again, it may not. Aries, please take what's yours and leave the rest. Cross, watch, cross watchers are welcome to be a part of these reads. The role is the same thing for you guys as well, okay? Now, if you guys are interested in having a personal reading with me, you could always connect with me using the information that I have provided for you, and that will be in the description of today's video for personal one. All right, let's see. What's the message here, please? For Aries, career, money, decisions, and choices at this present time, angels. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. There's so many things that's going on. Right direction. New access and community. All right, let's talk about it. All right, so I feel like right now, because I'm getting the right direction for some of you guys, I do feel like you're either kind of torn right now, maybe for some of you trying to kind of figure out if you're definitely on the right path as far as, you know, your job is concerned, as far as your money, um, you know, decisions and choices that you have to make right now. For some of you, definitely either thinking about buying a house or moving into a, an apartment or something, okay? Because um, I'm getting new assets. So some of you just might have just rented a, a, an apartment or just bought a house, but still kind of trying to figure out if you're on the right path, okay? But... Mm, I'm getting a lot of mixed feelings here because I feel like you're either questioning right now, Aries, if you're on the right path because I feel like you on your job situation or however you're making your money, I do feel like, you know, you're somebody is either seeing you as a competition, um, trying to be better than you, trying to do everything more smarter, trying to get recognition here. And this is why you're really questioning where you are right now but i feel like you're for some of you really not feeling happy or contented as far as where your career paths are right now because there's definitely someone is in competition with you on your job maybe for some of you just not happy period with your job um but i feel like you may just put up with it because you might have just bought a house or a car. You might have just invested into something major. And you're not trying to kind of lose anything right now. Or for some of you, you know, somebody may be in competition with you. Trying to have you fired or dismissed or something. 
someone maybe tried to cause mischief and strive. <sighs> but somebody's like feeling like you're out in the cold or something. I'm hearing insurance. So for some of you, just know that you're going to have to kind of secure, you know, insurance is where you're securing yourself. You're securing your future here. Um, maybe you, where you are is not where you need to, need to be. Because I'm, I'm seeing the rain and I'm seeing you standing on an umbrella. So for some of you, you're just trying to not get wet. And so you kind of put up with the sick things that you're dealing with right now just because you just don't want to make a wrong move. Um, I'm hearing something has to change though. Something has to change or something is going to end in order for something new to begin. What is this? Clarify that please. Okay, a budget. Okay, so oh, this budget is coming in, you guys. Look at that. So I feel like right now, um, because, and I'm getting paid debts. So I do feel like right now, you just have to be very careful with how much you're spending right now. Because you're not really sure where, if you're on the right direction right now, as far as where your job is concerned, okay? Um, you just have to make sure that you're not overspending. Um, making sure you feel very secure into where you are right now. Um, something may be coming in as something is coming in that's taking your resources of what you might have already saved up. Um, trying to be sure that you're not out in the cold or soaked in the rain here. Um, so now is the time that you kind of make sure that you put all your assets in one place and not overspending, especially because the holiday is so fast approaching. I'm getting paid debts. So for some of you, you could either already um, be in a situation where you have a lot of balances on your credit card or the bills are just coming in as faster than the money is coming in. All right, loan denied. So something has been denied here. Um, if it, this is not a loan, then this is a job situation. This could be a situation where someone either got fired or, or something just got came to an end. But see, what's really changing for you is growth. So that really tells me that if this is the situation that you're presently dealing with, that I'm hearing you growing from something. So that tells me that something, something better is coming because you're growing from one place or from one situation to the next. Maybe, you know, whatever you're trying to find the right path on this is something that you're just going to take that experience to somewhere rest because that's not where you need to be you're growing into something better here but just at the end of the day right now is where you have to really be careful of how much you are spending something definitely is coming i'm seeing you training for something there's a training that is happening here so this could be some kind of an opportunity that is coming in where you might have to go to a class or something to to kind of get another career pattern. This could be something that you already know, but it's calling for you to get some kind of a training. Yeah, because right now where you are is you're feeling like you're dealing with a a, a toxic work environment here. There's a lot of gossiping that's going on here. People may be sleeping with other people. Okay, so I'm also seeing unemployment, you guys. So for some of you, you may be unemployed or about to be. Tell me more.
toxic work environment confirmation once again so you definitely tapped into a toxic work environment that's on period somebody may be jealous jealous about you jealous about the way you get your job done you're working hard you're doing what you need to do and there's a lot of hater okay i'm seeing you in despair yeah unemployment for some of you it's time that you fix your credit and 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 minimize minimize spending this is this is what i'm seeing more we are hiring see look at that see what i'm saying you're something different something something is changing you guys something's like literally changing right in front of you you're going on a job search because something is ending because you're growing you grow you've grown out of where you are this is not where you need to be because it's, it's seriously a toxic work environment on period. Your energy is, is depleted. You don't even feel like you want to go into work. But whatever is happening, whatever is changing, I'm here in training. So you're definitely going to do something that requires you taking maybe a couple of days of training or weeks or maybe months for some of you to get that dream job. But there's someone that is saying, I'm, we're hiring. And I feel like this is the direction that you're going into. Let's see. Tell me more. Okay, the nine of cups. So things is definitely looking up for you. Um, opportunities are coming in. Um, offers are coming in. Something bigger, something better. There's a lot of an abundance here. Money that's coming through. I'm seeing you walking away from the past here. Um, but you have to make a decision based on what's best for you. Not on fear of what you might run into. The task may be more than you might want, but it's going to bring you some kind of a light here at the end of the tunnel. I'm hearing, um, you know, I'm seeing you like very destroyed here, but a cycle is coming to end because wherever you're moving away from, whatever you're moving away from, that situation was definitely one that made you feel very anxious dealing with anxiety and everything else and depression all right so there's definitely some people that was very jealous brought a lot of drama towards you watching you and stalking and, and lurking and, and being deceitful and devious what is the knight of wands the knight of swords What's the Nine of Wands? The Nine of Swords. The Queen of Wands. You're victorious. You're manifesting your life. You're doing what you have to do to cleanse your energy here. You're fighting for what you want. And there's not too much fight here because you will be achieving great things. The Ten of Cups. You're restoring a lot of things here. Not only your financial situation, but everything else that you've been wanting. So you're regaining everything that you might have lost. You're regaining this. House, cars, friendship, assets, whatever. You're getting it all back. It's coming back towards you in abundance here. Someone wasn't smart. Now, someone wasn't smart based on where you are coming from. So I'm hearing whatever was going on and why you're presently not happy with your job or why you're moving into something new. You definitely have jealousy around you tonight. This is a lot of drama. These people was very slow. They know your progress and they try to slow you down. And still is. And yet, for some of you, you are still holding on here. Even though you weren't happy with where you are, you still seems to hold on here. While money wasn't going good. The four of pentacles in the reverse. Money just was not going good. It might have been able to pay the bills, but it wasn't having you save up. Major Arcana. 
the Fool and the Ace of Wands here. So something new is coming from this though. But you're going to have to be very smart. I'm hearing good luck that is coming. I'm hearing the Two of Cups too. So that tells me not only is your financial situation changing for the better, but I'm also seeing love that is coming towards you as well. I'm hearing the, the feelings are mutual. Yeah, you have an emperor here. Oh, the feelings are mutual, honey. Very smart, very loving, major change. Um, this person is going to bring you a lot of light, a lot of love, a lot of respect, a lot of joy. This person is very good, very handsome, or very beautiful. Um, love to give, love to laugh here. Okay. What is the emperor here? And the four wands. New start, fresh start. Trust your intuition here. You might have to move away. For some of you, you're going to move away with this person. Okay? Um, or this may be a long distance relationship to start off with. But someone is making a decision to move on here. And something new, fresh. You may have to fight for this situation. But you may have to fight not too much because this person is very smart. And really have to balance a lot of things out that you may have some kind of... Uh, no sense of direction at one point, okay? Not really sure. This person will help you. This emperor is very smart. They're going to take a risk, a huge risk with you, okay? This person is very spiritual. They're lightening your load here. They know that you've been through a lot and they were ready to help you and to work with you, okay? The angels are also here, so you're not alone into your decision. I feel like if you either feel confused about... If you should move on with this emperor here, angels are saying that you should because this person is bringing a lot of change in towards you. All right, what is the three of swords and the ace of swords? The three of wands, the ace of swords, the emperor. What is this? Oh, yes, honey. The seven of pentacles, the ace of pentacles. Something new, a total first start here. I feel like whatever this first start is, is something that's going to bring you a lot of light, a lot of love. Uh, something is ending. Your strength is being rejuvenated here. Right now, you may be feeling depressed or weak. This The Eight of Swords are tied up and wrapped up. And so they wanted you to feel, but that's over because that's in the reverse. You're taking back your peace here. Just know that, you know, whatever you might have lost... You're not going to be losing that for very long because what I see is this is Ace of Cups. Something new. New beginnings, first start. That's what you need here. I feel like somebody was watching you on this job. Someone was watching your every move. Doing uh, spell work and black magic and everything else. They was watching. It was being watched and stopped. Maybe still is. Who knows? Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. So this is how they see you. They see you as wanting to put an end to something. Maybe this, these people knew that you was trying to do something to better yourself. Maybe you said something to someone here. Somebody kind of betrayed you here. Put your business out there. Want to see you fall here. Not want to see you achieve anything with this Nine of, nine of Pentacles. Something was taken away here. Suddenly, manipulation, mind games, whatever came with that. Now you're walking away here because you had a tower moment on that situation. Crazy tower moment. The Queen of Cups energy, that's in the reverse. Someone is a low vibration right here. Not a reverse, reverse. The Five of Swords, the King of Swords, but the judgment is here to balance that out. Whatever they plan for your bad, this going to be on their own bad. That was sent back. That's returned to sender. Something better is coming. Trust me when I tell you the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, the Fool. Yeah. Justice is here. So that means, you know, you're going to be receiving something. In abundance here, some you're either gonna get a phone call or a text message, 
or an email or something that's going to help to bring you this new opportunity and like i said before it may be something that you may not want to move forward into but you must have paid your cups so something massive is coming you just going to have to get yourself mentally prepared for what is about to happen to you the word is where you manifest in what you really need here. This is good luck. This is high vibration. This is major arcana here and happiness here in abundance and blessings and grace and purity and cleansing and everything. Okay. Manifesting your joy and your peace here. What is this? There you go. These people saw you as a threat. Wherever you are, they see you as a threat. So they constantly come towards you with drama and baggages here, trying to hold you all on to you, having feel like you know you're trapped in fear. Um, it's like you were fighting a battle here. The nine of wands, the the king of the knight of swords, and the page of pentacles. They saw you as a threat. Because they know what you bring to anything that you touch. Because you're blessed and highly favored here. Something was hiding very well. These people was hiding. It was like snake or wolf in sheep closet. And they wasn't planning on celebrating you, okay? They was planning for your downfall. The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. But then again, this going to be backfired. That's already sent back by your ancestors. I'm seeing an apology coming. They're going to be either calling you or reaching out to you for some kind of an apology, wanting to, you to come back. Hmm. For some of you, you either feel ashamed of whatever, but this is not for you to be ashamed. This is for them because they was the ones that was hiding something or they felt like you was hiding something. They, felt, they even felt like they might have found something about you where you had the feeling like this, but... That's not your heart be troubled because something better is coming. Where this situation is is not where you need to be. The seven of the seven of swords. This is devious, wicked, vicious hearted, cold blooded people. Okay? Hiding behind masks, stabbing you in the back, betrayal, manipulation, mind games, and the list goes on. That situation is no longer. It's over for them. And it's amazing for you. The Ace of Wands and the King of and the Nine of Pentacles. Major blessings. Okay. New beginnings. First start. What is the, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords? You're healing from this. Whatever they did, whatever they done, you're healing from it. You're healing from it because you have the ancestors that is guiding you and leading you and protecting you and showing you a way of the direction that which in you need to go. Um, something major, huge is going to happen for you. Get ready for it because it's going to be so damn big. The enemy, the net that they cast out for you will be their own net. You'll see. Okay? You're going to be okay. All I would say right now, Aries, just make sure that you really preserving your finances and not overspending especially the holidays is right around the corner just be sure that you are saving putting away because it may take a little bit of time for you to land a dream job but it's going to happen based on the training that i'm seeing you've been trained for something um so just be sure that you're not overspending okay just be sure that you have everything on a budget and work on your credit okay all right that is going to be your reading for now um i hope it didn't resonate with you please do not hesitate to like to share to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already um if you do need me to do more career readings like this just let me know down below so pray for me also my darlings as i'm praying for you and with that said always remember to seek first and you always find bye guys